run a lab uh, called the Epigenetics Lab. And epigenetics is a field of research that looks at information above the DNA. And this is the information that allows uh, us to interpret how the DNA is controlled. And so in particular, we study a process called DNA methylation, uh, which are marks um, that are put onto the DNA during each round of replication. And in addition to these marks, we also look at histone modifications. So DNA is wrapped around uh, nucleosomes that are made up of histones, and it is the modification of these histones that uh, in many ways orchestrates whether the DNA is compacted inside the nucleus uh, in such a way that the genes are repressed, or whether the DNA is loosely packed and in this particular case, this opens up uh, the DNA and allows these genes to be um, open for expression inside a cell. So together with DNA methylation and histone modifications, this information that we call epigenetics provides a, a really wonderful mechanism uh, that the cell can use for controlling gene expression. Uh, in my laboratory, I've got quite a large team consisting of a number of group leaders, uh, postdoctoral fellows, PhD students and uh, research assistants. And together uh, we're challenged with understanding how epigenetics uh, controls normal cell development and what goes wrong in diseases such as cancer. So in particular, uh, my laboratory is divided into three main areas of research. The first is mechanism, so we have a number of projects that address uh, the fundamental principles underpinning epigenetic control. The second area uh, of research is development of new technologies and new bioinformatic tools. So our research uh, very much uses next generation sequencing technologies to understand the epigenome. And so we need to constantly develop new tools to be able to integrate this information. And so uh, the importance of bioinformatics and computer technology is being critical for helping to advance this field. And the third uh, field of research that we focus on is translational research, where we can apply our findings uh, from both epigenome mapping and mechanistic studies to use this information to develop biomarkers for disease uh, based on epigenetic changes in diseases such as cancer, but also looking at new therapeutic targets that are based on changes in the epigenome uh, in cancer. So as I said, it's a great team that we work with, it's a great range of skills uh, that the team have and it allows us to move forward on these three fronts of research. So the field of epigenetics, we think, is uh, the next field that takes us beyond the genome. It's a field that takes us the next leap of being able to exploit this information uh, to change how we diagnose and treat human diseases, and in particular, cancer. So what we know is that cancer is a disease of the DNA. It's a disease that involves uh, genetics, but it also is a disease that involves a change in epigenetics. And it's this change in epigenetics that really does have a major impact, we believe, in the future of diagnosing cancer and in the future of treating cancer. 